happy move-in day. I can't believe the day is finally here. I woke up like probably 25 times last night. I slept probably not just no sleep really at all. I was so hot and I'm still so hot. <laughs> I just went to Starbucks to pick up my breakfast sandwich and throw a couple water bottles for the movers. I'm just doing some last minute things. They're coming in about 10 minutes so... I mean, they could come later than that, but as soon as 10 minutes. I'm a little nervous, but I need to like pipe down. It's good. it's good. I'm using piece of cake moving, so if they're good, I'll put my referral code up here for y'all to use. Not sponsored. I paid fully for my own move, so just a code for you guys to get um, percentage off and tell them I sent you. Hopefully they are good and hopefully I use them in the future because they really weren't that expensive considering. I also had like really warped perception of how expensive moving was going to be, so I guess that's good versus the opposite. But my room looks pretty much as I left it last night. I need to go move my rug and headboard from downstairs because the lady didn't pick it up yesterday. It's a whole thing. So... I'm gonna figure that out to get that out of their way when they're moving stuff and then I'm kind of gonna strategize with them once they get here but yeah. can't believe it's happening I'm disposing of that a different day. I literally can't think of that doing that right now. My closet, this doesn't even do it justice. It's just so fun. All these are empty. This is all empty. Giving that away. I need to move the TV over here, but wow. God, I'm also showered. Let me fix my hair. I couldn't find my brush, so we're rocking like the full natural natural. Hello. My arm is actually kind of sore from just all the heavy lifting I was doing. I'm in my new room. I believe the last clip I filmed was just like a pan of how everything looks right now. I took a shower. I feel like a brand new woman. I literally have not sweat that much in a long time. I probably have had like two of these hydro flasks today maybe three and it's currently 1 p.m <laughs> and i haven't had any while so like that was really like at like 12. i also have had like half a gatorade too because honestly like i was sweating so much i was kind of concerned about the electrolytes and just like it's some salt too just to make sure i'm like good but i am currently sitting at my new desk i will like pan and show you guys everything in a sec but I just showered. I'm kind of getting into the zone of like, let's unpack, let's do some stuff. I immediately, first thing I wanted to do was just get my AC unit in. Lord, honestly, it was quicker, I would say, than when my dad and I did it. And I mostly, Allie helped me like lift it and troubleshoot a little bit, but I got that girl in over there. Woo! So, and I had to drill some pilot holes too. So, call me, not even Bob the Builder. What's the female equivalent of that? I don't know, but. Call me handy, okay? I'm gonna start with my room and closet and bathroom in here first, and then Allie and I are gonna do the kitchen when she comes back from brunch. But I'm glad that like no one's here right now. I can just kind of listen to some music or I might call like a couple friends and just kind of like start unpacking. I think I'm gonna start probably in the closet because that feels like an easy win. Because I did not pack, I don't really know where everything is which is like fine. I don't have a ton of like bins and baskets and stuff. Like generally I know where things are, but like, I don't know. <sighs> I am so tired y'all. I woke up at like 6 a.m. this morning. I went to bed last night at like, by the time I finally fell asleep, it was probably like two. I got in bed at like 11.30. I, as you guys know, I have a lot of problems sleeping, especially in that apartment. Plus my AC was out. So like I took it out because I was moving this morning. And so, 
yeah really really tired i'll probably take a nap after i do a little bit so i think maybe i'll maybe i'll actually make my bed first that'll feel like an easy win and then maybe move on to the closet but it already looks so good in here it's so much brighter in here than i ever thought which is awesome because i face like a building but it makes sense that like the sun especially in like the morning and early afternoon the sun when it's in the east or like right above it reflects off this building which reflects into here which kind of feels basically like direct light pretty much as good as you're gonna get for not facing like the street yeah and I can show you guys my view because you can't tell where I am so that's great now these bars look a little ominous I think I'm actually gonna swing them open so it's more clear but I'm not sure how easy or hard that is so I'm gonna try that later but not a top priority but I just love the way my bed looks in here I need to order a Wi-Fi extender ASAP pronto because I work from home on Monday and I also need to order my nightstands as soon as I like block them out with blue tape to make sure that they'll fit over here because there's quite a lot of space over there and I'm not putting out anything else over there. So like, I feel like, I don't know. We'll see. I can't believe I'm like, I don't live there anymore. My stuff is like not all the way out, but it's like mostly out. So I'm just feeling very good. Went overall pretty smoothly. I'm really tired y'all. Honestly, I might make my bed and just take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I'm at right now it's literally so early it's only 1 p.m. like I have the whole rest of the day to work on this so we'll see where I'm at but so far so good so I do want to show you kind of the state of the room I did a couple like overview pans but this is what it looks like when you walk in don't mind that that's like all my linens and I just didn't want them sitting on the floor so they're sitting on top of my bed with some clothes and stuff but these are my bathroom items need to organize those I turned off that fan so it's not loud while we're filming but that's probably gonna live in the living room but who knows we'll see and then I have my little jute rug which I wasn't sure about at first I really really like it now I think it really ties the room well together I might pull it a little bit further out and then I have here my desk it fits perfectly along this wall I love it because it's like super easy to access but I'm just like it's not like monitors in your face right when you walk in I kind of like that and then I just have all of the bins here. I rented these. I think that these are really great just because I don't have to take apart cardboard boxes. They're like really easy to pack, stack, all the things. Um, over here, I have a war zone where I cleared, cleaned my window, which was so dirty. And then I have over here my mirror, which I'm gonna hang. I think I'm gonna hang this right on this wall here, right when you walk in. And then I have some more like art stuff there. I'm actually gonna take that Zabar thing and take it out and do a really big frame here because it's like it's like 24 by 30 or something huge and do it there to make it kind of like a moment and cover up those holes i also need to talk to my guy about this because i need that painted <laughs> oh look you okay you can see a building back there hello but yeah and then this is what it looks like from this back corner over here got all the boxes and stuff but there's my desk right where you walk in but you just don't see it which i really like and then ideally I'm going to do like a full length mirror kind of like propped up situation. I would do a chair there. I'll see once everything's out, like how much space I have and what I'm into. But I really like the idea of doing a full length mirror there to just kind of open up the room. And then I want to mount a TV up there as well. So I need to figure out this is like a mid to long term project of like an entryway type thing, air quotes. But definitely doing gold mirror here. I just feel like that'll really ground the space and then either like a really thin table or just like something here. And then my bathroom I've done nothing for I need to figure out the water situation because this is taking forever to drain so maybe I need to buy like Drano or one of those snake things there's my outfit I can't find my dirty clothes that I packed but I haven't done anything in here so hello and then here is my closet again I have thoughts I originally wanted this here I'm thinking it's gonna be better over here because it's kind of like I can't access either there or there and I'm not gonna put any clothes like here so I think I'm just gonna turn it so I have full access to the dresser either there or potentially I could put the dresser right here I'll play around with that it's currently empty and then I have two more boxes of clothes and then this is just like oh random shit in here and those that has more clothes in it too thankfully i have this little my meatball for life hat i have this here but then i also have these hooks up here as well which will be good for like winter coats or something of that nature and then of course we have my door to go outside this was super helpful for the movers to come directly to my room which is awesome and there's a the little entrance 
I don't think I'm gonna keep that, but I need to buy a lot of organization stuff, but I need to like figure out what I need before I just order like crazy. But that's all. Oh no, I'm blue. I'm rambling and I'm, as I'm like standing here, I'm like really crashing really hard. So I think I might take a little nap, make my bed and then I'll take a little nap. Just some rest up. Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday And nothing's changed Mistakes that everyone is making but I can't change I'm stuck in reverse like an opens Forgot to tap it up Now I long for another Where things fall the color 